everyone. So we wanted to share a little bit about our Masters in Mental Health Counseling program. And so I am Dr. Beth Trammell and I am the director of the program and I'm here with my two colleagues who are also teaching the program. Dr. Deborah Miller. And Dr. Alyssa Brown. Yeah, so we wanted to share with you a little bit about our program so that you can get a sense of who we are and what to expect in our program. We thought it would be fun to do that. So I'm going to ask you to start. Just share a little bit about you and what you um, do, your expertise, and uh, maybe what you look for in students who sure. might want to study with you. Yeah, so um, I am a licensed psychologist as Beth is, and you're on your way mm -hmm. to licensure. So we all work with clients. Um, I work with adults. I don't work with kids very much. I do psychological testing. And so um, I kind of can do supervision for students who are interested in working with adults um, of all, you know, like just generally, general, any problem. Um, I teach the um, intro to mental health counseling class and the multi-call course and a, a seminar on abuse. So I teach just a variety of different things. I direct the internship um, program. So once you get to the part of your program where you're doing practicum and internship clinical work, then you'll work with me to find that placement. And um, what's your interest? Like oh, research. I do LGBT um, research and stuff like that. So. Um, I also have that expertise in counseling and different things like that. You do safe zone training? I do safe zone training. Thank you, <laughs> Beth. Uh, I um, help with the student alliance here on campus for the LGBT students. Um, and just things like that. I'm interested in diversity and inclusion and all kinds of stuff like that. You also lead uh, study abroad for our undergrads, which we um, study abroad is not required. Um, mm -hmm. All the courses in our program are, we run on a cohort model, so we accept students every two years at this point, and then you basically run through the whole two year program together. And so it's a pretty standard set of courses mm -hmm. that everybody takes together. Um, and so right now, study abroad is uh, for our undergraduates, but we- yes. um, I would love to- Bring graduate students. It, bring graduate students along on that trip to Europe for a couple weeks, or to devise a whole new trip for our graduate students. Yeah, yeah. Which That'd is, be awesome. Yeah, it's great. It's a great way to learn outside of the classroom. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so great. Thanks for sharing. Yes. And Dr. Brown, tell yes. us what you like to do and what you see in students, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, well, I, my, I guess I'll start with my area of expertise. Yeah, um, right. mm -hmm. The main kind of areas that I like to focus on are um, couples and families, but I would say the families is kind of in parentheses compared to the couples. Most mm -hmm. of my research, most of my training has been with the couples part specifically. Great. Um, and so in the in practice, I like to work with couples, but I also, again, just similar to Dr. Mm -hmm. Miller, I work with a big variety of, of people. Um, um, so kind of hoping to focus more on couples as I go, but I'm also still pretty, still gaining my bearings um, mm -hmm. on my way to licensure and all that. So, um, in the program, I teach, or are there other things that I was right? Oh yeah, that's great. In the program, I teach um, assessment courses, and I also am currently teaching the group group psychotherapy course, which I love. I love group therapy. Uh -huh. um, and what else? It's just supervision, but we all take turns. Yeah, mm -hmm. supervising, which is a good thing to know about yeah. our program. You get a lot of different experiences and kind of get a flavor of mm -hmm. like supervision from each of us. You get individual um, and group, so yes. you supervise with each other. All yeah, yourself. which I think is really a neat aspect that we have that other programs don't have because you get to know us so well. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think that's the main focus. I'm hoping to develop. Outreach is more stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. Deborah and I are. You're, you're newer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so. so this is my second. I'm starting my second year of yeah. teaching. So, um, still just mostly ideas bouncing mm -hmm. around in here. But. <laughs> but couples work is really your yeah. focus. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, anything with attachment and that little area. I'm one of those. Yeah. Lovey dovey. 
gushy, mushy. That's yeah. my zone. <laughs> yeah. Which is not really my zone. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah. So it that's is. fine. You, um, like Dr. Brown said, the good news is, you know, each of us kind of have our own uh, area of interest and our approach to therapy. And so mm -hmm. as we are training future therapists, it's really an advantage that all three of us have kind of a unique approach because my approach is more cognitive behavioral. Um, I talk less about feelings. It's not that I'm afraid of feelings necessarily, but um, <laughs> most of mine is, um, what are you thinking and how are you behaving? Mm -hmm. uh, I work mostly with kids and families. I do a lot of parenting research and uh, teacher training. And so I'm kind of the kid person on our faculty. Mm -hmm. And so if you're interested in working with kids, I have experience uh, with autism, um, externalizing disorders, ADHD, depression, and all of those things. I am, as the director, I'm in charge of admissions and advising and questions. And so I'm sort of everything right now because we're still a newer program and we're working through what that's gonna look like. But uh, I teach the professional skills course online. I teach psychopathology child psychopathology, and again, we rotate through uh, internship and supervision and that sort of thing. Uh, a little bit about the structure of our program. You'll, uh, students take two face-to-face -face courses and two online courses each semester. Right now, those courses are uh, in the afternoons on Tuesday and Thursday um, from about 12.30 to about three o'clock-ish. Um, we do have students who work, um, but it is a very stressful situation when you have um, outside work and then a full load of graduate courses. So Plus your practicum and internship that requires, internship is work. 20 hours yeah. a week, right. so mm -hmm. right. if you're working full time, classes, and internship, you're never home. It's, yeah, you're never, it's yeah, very yeah, hectic. Tough too. Mm -hmm. incredibly stressful. Unless you're awesome at time management. And even though Even if you are, are yeah, so it's just crazy so busy. Yeah. Yeah, and if you have a family or you want a social mm -hmm. life or, you know, that, um, you know, it can get very, very crowded. So we, um, we would love it if students could really just focus on mm -hmm. being a student and not have outside work, especially during that second year, which is the internship year and you're 20 hours a week um, outside of the classroom and those mm -hmm. other classes you've got to take. Or uh, just part-time work. Part-time, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Part-time, I think 15 or 20 hours yeah. would be reasonable, reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, on top of the course load. I think the other really cool and unique thing about our program is that since it's half online and half face-to-face, -face, we are also in a program that is a collaborative program. And so we have faculty at IU Kokomo who also teach our um, some of the online classes. So not only do you get us, but you also get the uh, psychology counseling uh, faculty at IU Kokomo. And so it is really great that um, you'll see us face to face because you'll take your face to face courses here on the East Campus. But then some of your online classes will be taught from faculty outside of here who have a different perspective and frankly even in a different part of the state. So they have a different perspective in that way too. Um, let's see, let's talk a little bit about um, Anything else that makes us fun and unique? <laughs> what makes you fun and unique, Deb? Besides our winning personalities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that we each take a really hands-on, mm -hmm. like caring, mm -hmm. nurturing approach mm -hmm. to our students. We we know how hard it is. We're all people who have families and lives outside of what we do for work, so we know how hard it is to balance mm -hmm. it all. So. I think we really try to encourage that, but we do also have high expectations yeah. of students because we want to make sure that you're ready to go out into the professional world with the skills you need. So mm -hmm. um, we'll help you try to find that balance, but you got to be willing to yeah. to do what, what's needed for that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I think we're definitely approachable and down to earth and, and uh, try to be really present, but mm -hmm. also, yeah, try to push and okay. challenge students yeah. um you know we we remember what it's like to be in graduate school but also remember how much growth needs to happen from when you start yeah. to the the, the, sh the very short two years mm -hmm. 
um, it's to a turn in long two years. Right, yeah. right. It's like <laughs> some days it's it's um, kind of a little bit of both. So, and I think we do some cool outreach stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We're doing our Beth and Deb show um, <laughs> kind of thing, and That's we right. do a lot of stuff on campus. You did work as sort of the council on campus for a little while, mm -hmm. and so we're really active in the community and love to get students involved in those sorts of projects too. So yeah, I think that's a uh, something else that's unique about us. But that's, um, and you can say I'm not sure you guys already said it all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll try to think for a second, but um, <laughs> this is very well planned and structured. Yes, this uh -huh. will need to edit it. Yeah, we can, uh, <laughs> we can cut this little. Um. Oh, I, I do think it's cool that we contribute to, well, let me start that again, okay. so that it's not like, I do think it's cool that we do this. Here's something I <laughs> surrounded. Um, we do a lot for the community that is right around our um, school, which I think is kind of unique. Not every single program gets as involved in the community. Um, there's a project going on for um, helping some of the schools right now, a lot of the outreaches that you all have and hopefully I will have soon um, are within the community and so we just really focus on providing those resources to those around us which I think is a huge part of our role is, is people who are in mental health is kind of being using our skills to then advocate for communities which our community needs and yeah. we are trying to provide so yeah that's great. I think one last thing I want to share is about um, accreditation so um, there is some uh, interest or discussion or people always ask mm -hmm. like oh well are you an accredited program and right now we are not a KCREP accredited program um, but also currently you don't have to come from a KCREP accredited program to become licensed in the state of Indiana that may shift and if it does then we will make a shift to whatever we need to do because our goal is to have you be a licensed mental health counselor mm -hmm. um, after your two, two years of working postgraduate. So we're, we're really trying to prepare you to be great therapists at the master's level um, in the state of Indiana. So um, and our program will meet all those requirements mm -hmm. even though we're not accredited. Yes. We, you'll have so everything you need for a licensure. Yeah. 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 Yep. You'll be able to take all the courses and be ready to get your license um, after you graduate and, and do your, your work uh, hours after that. So I didn't graduate from an accredited program at either the master's level or the doctoral level and I have been a licensed mental health counselor and have become a psychologist without any problem. So um, if you are kind of interested or worried about that, uh, just know that that's kind of the information about that. Um, yeah, so anything else? I think that's good. Yeah, we look forward to answering questions if you have them or looking forward to seeing some applications. Bye-bye. <laughs>